G'day, my name's Aaron and this is a tour of our bus. Uh, in case you don't know, um, myself and my girlfriend Kiara bought this bus four months ago with the intention of travelling all around Australia in it. Um, and this is going to be a, a tour of the bus that we bought. So we, we bought it obviously four or five months ago from Townsville. Uh, and it's a 1992 Hino base and obviously the, there's a bus built on the base and that has been converted into a motorhome. Uh, by the guy that we bought it from. It's been done to a standard where we can live in it, but I'd like to make some changes. So uh, it's only a, what I, in my opinion, it's a, a half project, it's a half done project. We will finish it when we can, when we have time in the funds. Uh, it's done about 80,000 kilometers, so it's, it's relatively fresh. Um, and it's got a 240 horsepower diesel engine and an automatic transmission. So it's pretty easy to drive. You just jump in and press a go pedal. It's four meters tall. It's um, about two and a half meters wide and it's 12 meters long. The reason we bought a bigger bus is we'd like to be comfortable when it's raining or, or when we're just sitting idle. In a van, we felt we'd be too small, too compact and we'd drive each other crazy because there's two of us and a dog. So in a van, that might be a bit squishy. So let's go have a look, eh? Okay, so here we have a storage area on the driver's side. Um, this is our bulk storage area. So whatever we can't fit in the cab and we decide we might need later, shoved it in here. So we've got luggage in case we, we need to go on an overseas trip or on a holiday somewhere. <laughs> holiday, we're living a holiday. We've got uh, like swag, camping gear, eskies. We've got uh, a, gym. a gym. We've pretty much got a gym. We've got. This, what is it? It's a mat, a fitness mat. Yeah, a we've got gymnastics a, mat. A gymnastics mat. We've got gymnastics rings. We've got ropes. We've got skipping ropes. Um, weights. We have free weights. We've got bands. Bands, resistance bands. Resistance bands. We have resistance bands as well. Uh, plus all some automotive equipment that we need, might come in here. We've got surfboards. Uh, this thing we've got, it's a pull out two kilowatt portable petrol generator. This comes in very handy on cloudy days when our solar power isn't up to the standard. So this is the driver's side, let's keep going to the passenger side. Okay, in our first compartment here, on top we've got some wood. Like I said, the bus is a half finished project, so this wood is all the finishing touches. This will come in handy later when we finally get down to doing some work. Uh, we've got some upholstery gear there, in here is some spare belts, some spare parts for the bus. This is our LPG storage box. So this is where our gas system lives. So we've got our LPG gas that we use to run our stove. This sits here. This box is all metal lined, as it has to be, and it vents down to the bottom. Um, it's all been installed, it's all gas compliant, and it's all been installed by a certified tradie. So that's all up above board. Uh, on the other side, I've got my tool storage, so anything I need should be in that box, should be, in theory. Moving along, air compressor, just in case our tyres get flat. Uh, and this is our water storage, so that's our grey water there. So all of our sink and shower empties into that 90 litre grey water tank. Um, and these are the taps that drain it. Um, drop saw if I need it. This is more timber for when I start to do renos as well. Just a little bit of storage in there as well. Uh, fresh water. So this is our drinking water and our sharing water. There's three compartments each with 90 litres, uh, so 270 litres of fresh water. When I eventually empty out that, I can put another 90 litres in there. So it'll give us 360 litres of fresh water if we need it. This is our solar panels, our solar setup. There's two 120 amp hour batteries. They're linked in parallel. Sorry, they're linked, no, they're linked in parallel. So yeah, so it doesn't matter how they're linked. <laughs> what matters is that it's a 12 volt system and combined they're 240 amp hours of solar storage. This is our 80 amp charge regulator. So that regulates all the charge that comes from the panels into the batteries, make sure they don't overcharge or undercharge. Um, we've got two 200 watt panels on the roof and two 100 watt panels, portable panels that are out on the ground gathering our solar power. 
we've got a 30 amp battery power sorry you've got 30 amp battery charger for when the solar power isn't enough and we have to run our generator um, fire extinguisher very important just in case something catches fire uh, that's storage for our portable panels and also behind there is some um, extra storage as well. Okay, into the bus. So straight up you'll see our fire extinguisher there in easy reach just in case we need it. Got my little bonsai trees that I'm growing on, have been growing on for a while now. Keep going. Okay, so this part of the bus is largely unfinished. So I've still got a little bit of work to do here. There's, yeah, I'll figure it out. Uh, this way, this thing here is a bulk storage box. So in here, I'm not going to open it up because it's a mess. <laughs> in here, we've got an extra fan. We've got storage containers. We've got water container. We've got just a whole heap of stuff. Um, passenger seat, don't need to know about that. Okay, this is a kitchen with a puppy dog. Hello. So this is our pantry. Watch out dog. Watch out. Watch out. So the it comes to pull out pantry, makes it easy, don't have to you know, bend down too much. Two sides, pull out. Full of food just in case we starve. Okay, kitchen. So this side we've got cups coffee machine which we have to run the generator for because it draws a lot of power mm -hmm. and we've got drawers these are nice deep drawers so lots of storage space there cups knives forks spoons uh, in there is like um, uh, utensils cooking utensils and that's our pots and pans drawer gas stove it's got a four burner gas stove top with an extractor fan it's got a grill section and it's got an oven section. Fan forced oven with a light if we need it, which is handy. This is our more storage, more kitchen storage. It contains um, I don't know, appliances, kitchen appliances, containers in this one. Under here, under the sink, is our bin drawer. So this is where we keep our bin and our cleaning products. Nice deep sink, um, fresh water obviously. Uh, up here is our magnetic knife rack that my little brother made. Doesn't have any knives in it right now because they're, you know, clean. And spice rack. Okay, this section is our bathroom. So in you go. You can see our shower there. It's just surprisingly spacious. So I don't need to duck my head. Our sink and toilet. We currently don't have our hot water set up right now, but it's one of those things that we will eventually get. This is all frosted so you can't see in or out. In this section here we've got our fridge, our full size fridge, runs off 240 volt, so we need an inverter to run it. Uh, first aid box and fire blanket, which is very important. And this section here, I won't open it too much because it's full of mess, uh, is our, I don't know, we keep our towels and stuff here, bulk storage, uh, office works down there, cameras, equipment, laptops, whatever, whatever. You can see up here, this used to be an old, like an aircon vent, a, a fresh air vent, and it used to run all the way along the whole of the bus. Um, and the person that owned the bus before us cut these vents, these holes in them for storage. So we're using these as storage for now. Eventually I'd like to change all this to make it a little bit uh, easier to access and more um, efficient. So up here we've got our vents, our fire escape emergency hatches, but they also double when we open them up as a fresh air vent. And really, on a hot day, they make it nice and cool. But other than that, they're an emergency exit. So here we have our lounge room, couch, fan, pretty self-explanatory, globe, which is all in Italian. <laughs> this is our dining table. This is on a on a hinge with a with detachable leg so all I have to do if we require more space is detach the leg and it hinges down and we've got so much more space um, but other than that it's a really comfortable place to work and to eat dinner TV which uh, we have on a bracket a mounting bracket uh, hopefully I don't break anything doing this by pulling it out it's fully extendable and it can range up and down on the angle as well. 
So that's really, really handy. Okay, when I bought the bus, this wall wasn't here. So you could see straight from the from the driver's window, basically into the bedroom. Uh, this is one of the additions that we've made. One of the modifications is I put this wall in. One, for a bit of privacy. And two, behind it there's a wardrobe. So we've added some storage space behind that as well. So these are one of the unfinished sections of the bus. I will get there eventually from the to-do list. Moving along. In the bus we've got all these blinds. Good for privacy. Uh, all the windows have mosquito nets on, just temporarily. I will fix them eventually. So this is the bedroom. And when I bought the bus, this bed was actually lower by that much. And it was forward by this much. At the back of the bus, there's steps where the motor sits in the chassis, as you can see. So I've raised the bed up, pushed it back, added these little... Hello, puppy. <laughs> added these storage drawers in. So this lifts up the storage. And these are drawers that pull out. That one doesn't. Yeah. That one does. There we go. That pulls out. So moving in here. This is going to make a mess, but we'll lift the bus, the bed up. As you can see, this is supported by gas struts, so it makes it nice and easy. That's bulk storage under there. So on the other side, more drawers, more storage, wardrobe. Uh, still not finished. I will put a face on this eventually, maybe some doors, whatever, whatever. Uh, this window needs a blind or a screen or a curtain. This is going to be a vanity. So eventually there'll be a mirror there and a different sort of table for, to make it pretty. And up there behind us is our library. So again, this is all different when I bought the bus. That was actually a metal container. It was part of the vent system and um, it didn't have this storage in, so I ripped that out and put the library in. The roof was, as you saw before, it was the same sort of design, I guess, but I ripped that off and put the, the wood look in and added some insulation, which keeps us nice and cool on the heat. I've also put these in instead of this vent system because I kept hitting my head on it and it really annoyed me. So I put these in and added an LED light system, so when I turn it on, gives it a bit of atmosphere as well during the night. It's really cool. Okay, that's our bus. Um, if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, click, click subscribe, and we'll um, see you in the next one. See you, bye.